Okay, guys, so it is the last day of season eight. Let's go and check exactly where we are. Okay, so here you can see we have two hours, 41 minutes remaining in season eight before it is all done. So I really, really hope any of you out there or all of you out there, should I say, have spent all your RST because remember when that countdown clock gets to zero, any RST you have in your account will be gone. Uh, so I really hope that you you did that and you remembered to spend it all. Okay, so we've got two hours, 40 minutes left now. So if we go back into the account, you're going to notice there's a slight difference to my hashing power. You, we're now at 100 and nearly 150 petahashes. Now, the reason for that is I, I did a little bit of a cheat. Uh, because obviously yesterday... I was worried that we were not going to hit that 10,000 um, RST. But you can see here, we're actually got 10,054 point whatever RST. So we did make it. But because I was worried we weren't going to make it, what I did was that uh, 22, that basically Bitcoin that I had it in my account that would give me 22 RLT. What I did was I exchanged that into RLT, which gave me around about 40, I think, R RLT. We've got 11 remaining, um, basically because I spotted in the um, marketplace that there was a classic fury earlier in the day at, in the last video. I'd seen it and it was at about 36 RLT. Shortly after I made the video, I went back into the marketplace and I saw it again and it dropped or someone else had put another one on for five RLT less. So it was actually down to 30 RLT. So I thought what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that and then basically the 10,000 RST that you can see on the screen. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to purchase parts box with that so we can try and merge those two classic furies and see what we get in the way of power okay so let's go into the uh, store and here we are in the season store and these obviously are the cases we've got the common case for fans wires and hashing boards i don't think i have any parts for uh, uncommon parts i think i basically use them all up so we need to get as many as we can um, so if we just quickly go into the merge and then we look here, if we go classic, it's going to show us what we need, which we need 300. Oh no, sorry. One thousand. Wow. Bloody hell. They have gone up, haven't they? they? I know they were on about changing the recipes, but wow, that has changed. So you need 13,000 of each one. So 13,158 of each item, and then it's 5 RLT on the top. Now, I'm not sure we're going to get that, but we're going to give it a go. So let's go into the season store. So we'll open a few boxes, and then what I'll do is I will speed it up so you guys don't have to go through the boring process of watching me open every single one. Okay, so let's buy... Okay, so we got 225 there. Two hundred and twenty-five there. <coughs> Excuse me. Two hundred and twenty-five there. We got 175. I'm going to guess this one is going to be 175 as well. There you go. And I, what's the betting? This one's going to be 175 as well. There you go. Okay, so we've opened a few. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward. We're going to run this at about three times. You'll see me open all the boxes, but obviously it's going to go a lot faster. And then 
we'll stop it and see where we're at. So keep watching.
Okay, guys, so we actually made it. You saw that we got the 13,000 on every single part required to do that merge. So let's go into our account and we just need to find where we were. So this is obviously where our two um, Classic Furies sat. If we go in here, our merged one should be there. So you we're currently showing that's not quite right because that should have dropped i think uh and if we put that on there that now takes us up to 152.264 although that might be slightly different because i don't know if that has added the oh it's showing that it has added the uh 1.49 uh, bonus as well and we're earning over three rst we also get to claim open three parts boxes. Uh, is there anything else we get to claim? Uh, we've got our free battery there. Uh, here we go, 15 parts boxes, claim that. Claim that, anything else? And if we go into the event pass, anything else we get to claim? no that wasn't bad though and obviously just get rid of that just as a, a, a check obviously i'm sure you guys are very interested if we click on this and then we go info you can see that it's uh, a 1.9 uh, petash uh, i i somehow had 1.3 1.362 in my head. I'm not sure at all where I got that from. I'm sure it probably wasn't from Tapuga. It's just an imaginary number I just plucked out of the air that happened to be in my brain, I think. Uh, but obviously from this, we are we have gained 54 over 54,000 gigahashes in um, bonus power. So that is a massive boost uh, as well. In fact, would that be well be 54? Terra hashes, wouldn't it? Um, 54,000 giga hashes, 54 terra hashes, yeah, I guess, I think. Uh, so, yeah, so that's a nice boost, obviously, to the account. That's probably going to make us uh, move up a few places as well in the leaderboard. And obviously, that now is season eight done. We do have a few more. Oh, look, we, you see, we're clocking up RST already. We've somehow gained. Oh, that would be from the that'd be from the bonus walls, wouldn't it? So we can still go back in here. And we can pick up a few more of these. Um, might as well use it up while we can, eh? Because uh, in a very short time, that is going to be gone. Okay, I think we've got enough for uh, one more. There we go. We could have picked up. We could have picked up. I'm sure a lot of you are probably wondering why I didn't buy a, a couple of battery. Uh, uh, batches of batteries or anything like that but if we go into my account and click here i already have five batteries and i'm earning one every single day for free so i didn't see the point in buying any more obviously like i say i could have put them in reserve but um but yeah I, you know i wanted to get as many parts as i could and if we go in here and go back to our parts we've ended up with you know we've got five thousand common wires uh, nearly 4,000 common hashing boards and nearly 5,000 common fans. Uh, and we started off with zero, then we collected enough to do our merge, which was over 13,000. And then we still ended up, you know, on each one of those, nearly four to 5,000 each after the merge and everything. So, I mean, that is pretty cool. I think that was definitely, a, I mean, it was touch and go whether we got there, but I think that definitely worked out. I think the idea... I think I, for me, I, um, we can't have, that can't be right. We can't have another 144 in there. No, that's because that's, I know what's happened there. Um, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I think the, buying the Classic Fury through the market um, rather than uh, using the RST, because then obviously we would have then had to build up those parts which would have taken a long time at maybe you know one or two maybe three parts boxes a day i don't know what the 
what the um, the daily task is. It used to be three parts boxes. I don't know if it still is, but that daily, that every day, that's going to take a long while to earn thirteen thousand on each part. So I think what I did was definitely the right way to go. Obviously, not everybody is able to do that, but uh, you know, I was lucky enough just to have that R RLT or the the be able to exchange some coins to make that RLT in my account, which then allowed me to do that. Um, anyway, so we are going to be looking uh, to season nine. So keep watching and then we'll get on with the rest of the video. Okay, and here we are. Season 9 has now begun. I remember, if this is your first time visiting my channel and you want to learn more about how to earn cryptocurrency for free, about cloud mining sites, crypto investments, and lots of other crypto-related stuff, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tag that notification bell so you're alerted to all my latest content as it comes online. Okay, so like I say, here we are in the World Tour Season 9 event. And now there is some stuff that going through it, um, you know, I'm not quite happy with. They've tweaked some stuff. Some stuff they've tweaked for the better. Other stuff, as always, you know, they've sort of changed it uh, not for the better. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go through it. Obviously, uh, you saw in that lead up video that we did get the um, Classic Fury and we were able to merge that together for just over one petash. You can see that we are now at uh, 151.657 petahashes. And that is basically because obviously when you merge two miners together, it leaves a space on your rack. So if we just quickly go here, what I was able to do was add a demolisher to the 5% rack where the obviously standard fury was or one of the standard fury were. And basically after that, we also were able to add a somewhere around here, another low level miner but obviously this again has been merged so it's a little higher than the standard and with all that combined that has taken up to us up to over 151 petashes with it absolutely brilliant uh, and we're now earning because other things have changed as well now we're in a new season i have redistributed my power so i'm back now um mining uh, btc we're earning nearly 43 sats every 10 minutes and if we go into our power i'll show you basically what i've done so what i've done is i've given rst 20 percent of my power and then i've put 80 percent into btc uh, i've not put anything into rlt as of yet but i might do that going forward we'll just have to wait and see Okay, so what is going on with Season 9? So let's first go into the weekly quests now or and daily quests because this is where something has already changed. Not for the better, unfortunately. So here we're on the daily quests. If we scroll down here. Now, in Season 8, you only had to complete five daily quests to get the... Um, this rst uh, reward now they've put it up to seven and the reason why they've done that uh because it's so obvious what they're actually hoping is that now and again you're going to miss one or forget one or something like that and you're not going to claim that reward that is why they've done it in my opinion five daily requests would have was fine and it gave you that little bit of leeway which i thought was very nice uh you know and sensible because people do forget people you know get busy or something like that and 
either forget or just don't get to do it or whatever. But now they've made it a compulsory that you've got to do it every single day. So it's not just seven days, is it? Because the event goes on now for two and a half months. So essentially, you've got to make sure you log in every single day for two and a half months to get that reward consistently. So that is a bit annoying uh, because like I say, I thought five days was plenty. I'm not sure if anything too much has really changed on here. No, I don't think too much has really changed in the weekly quests. If we, so then from there, obviously, if we dive into here, we've got our event um, pass. I've already picked up my free event pass. Obviously, I've not upgraded it to uh, to the next level, but we have um, got the free one. If we click here, for those of you that don't know, basically a premium pass is going to cost you basically 100 RLT, but for that you're going to get the auto recharge, which personally I don't really see the point of because if you're doing the daily quests and you're logging in every single day and you're doing that one task per day on the task wall through with the Monlix ad, which I told you about in the last video, which gives you one battery free every single day, then there's no bit there's no point in having the re the auto recharge it does nothing for you because unless you've got batteries it doesn't work so that it's it's pointless it's totally pointless it's something like they're saying yeah we do, this is really great but in fact it's it's just not at all i mean unless for some weird reason you didn't get in you weren't able to get into your account and you did have some batteries stored then your auto charge is going to work for you but if you're only collecting that one battery every day to keep your account running and you don't get in and that battery's ran out, then you, it doesn't matter because the auto charge, the auto recharge doesn't work. It only works if you've got batteries in store. So like I say, it's for me, it's it's pointless. Uh, and obviously, but you obviously do get full access with this. That means that every for every level you you progress through you can claim every single reward whereas obviously currently i'm on the free pass so that means that i i, I only get rewards uh, those rewards that actually are stated as free which we will have a look at in a sec and then you get the complete pass which basically if you pay 699.9 you get everything all at once absolutely instantly and you're tip top and you can claim that up to three times. So you could pay that and then you could buy it again and then you can buy it again. I think each time it's a little bit less. But I mean, you re I, I mean, I wouldn't pay that out three times personally. But the good thing is, uh, again, for those of you that are ne uh, new to Rollercoin, if you claim your premium pass for every level you pass, even if you're a free member, the complete pass drops down. Normally what I do, I, I will play all the games and I will complete the tasks until my, I get my complete pass down to about 200 RLT. And then at that point, I normally buy the complete pass just to sort of speed things up. Uh, that's sort of how I do it. And I've done that every single season, I think. Uh, apart from last season, obviously, because I didn't do anything in that. But yes, so that's the passes and how they work. So if we scroll down, the like I say, the the time now is, as you can see here, 76 days and 20 hours. So essentially 77 days, which works out approximately two and a half months, which I think I did sort of point at and say two, and a, two to two and a half months would be a better length of time. But they're still giving you 60 levels. So there's still 60 levels. And what I was saying about earlier about the free pass is if you have a free pass, you're only eligible for the rewards that actually state free above them. The nice thing though is that obviously because the miners that they are giving out in this season are much better than they were last season, 
even for free members you're still going to be getting you know a lot of these a lot of these ones as um as a free member you're still eligible to get you know the big the big miners but you obviously it means that you've got to get further into the levels before you can start you're going to start getting them uh, i mean level 12 i mean you you had one of these at the beginning but you get another one at a level 12 at level uh well, level, you get a traveler's globe. I guess that's like a trophy. Yeah, it says event trophy. Um, and then you got this one at level 22. So that's the next big free. Oh, no, you got one here, level 20. Obviously, you get loads of RST, which is always good. Another globe trophy. I'm not sure. I don't think we have any space on our cabinet for uh, trophies, any more trophies. Okay, so 149,800 I think at level 40, I think. Oh, no, you've got the map there, sorry, at level 32, at 94,500. And you've got the 116 there at level 30. So, like I say, I mean... It's good the fact that you still got 60 levels because that means there's still plenty for you guys to go at. There is um, a lot of the... They're basically giving you all of the miners. Even as a free member, you're getting all of the miners. But the thing is, is obviously you've got to get further through the levels before you can claim them. Whereas obviously if you've got an upgraded pass then right from the beginning, like the first one, you're getting a 94,500 um, giga hash miner level one, you know, and obviously they do that to try and entice you. Um, but yeah, I mean, e either way, I think the way they've got this uh, set up, I think it's actually quite good. And the fact that it is only two and a half months. But what I, again, going back to what I said in the previous video, what I would like to see after that two and a half months is maybe a month's break. Even if it was only a two week break, you know, from mini events, from seasons. So you guys get a chance to go, right, okay, let's reset. Let's redistribute my power. I'm going to, I want to withdraw BTC or I want to withdraw Binance Coin. So I'm going to focus totally on that for the next two weeks make a couple of withdrawals or at least one good size withdrawal, then get back into the next season. That's what I'd like to see. Whether it's going to happen, I don't know. But that is what I would like to see. Okay, so the other thing, obviously, is that um, the we've done the upgraded pass. So basically, the other nice thing that uh, they've done is... Rather than, as you can see here, the amount of XP required to get up to the next level is only 300. It used to be, in the last season, 350. So they've dropped that a little. Obviously, the, the previous season, was it like 500, I think it was, the previous season? So season 7, I think, was 500. Then they went to 350. Now they've brought it down to 300. You know, so... In you know that's getting better and better all the time as well because even for free members it's getting more attainable faster so therefore you guys are going to be able to get through those levels a lot quicker therefore claim more rewards in that 76 days so that is good the other thing obviously um, that we talked about is the season store now in the last video I did we looked at the miners that you, that you were going to be getting in the season store which is these miners uh or not in the season store that they basically they what they class these as which is the miners from the art contest were event miners so i thought they were going to be distributed between mini events or they were going to have just one really big mini event and give all the miners away then something like that that is not actually what's going to happen so basically if we go into the season store which we're in go to so here scroll down now we've got this thing called the dream vacation case this is where you're going to find all of those miners i didn't re i obviously you know, they had billed them as event miners, but in fact, what they are part of 
is this loot box. So, which it is, it's a loot box. You know, there's no two ways about it. Basically, you're going to pay you 750 RST and it is a complete gamble as to what you're going to get. Now, the if you're, you know, you could get that one every single time, 19,500, you know, but the white ones are always going to be the more often. So you could end up with a 20,000, but between 19,500 and 20,200, there's not a lot of difference. You know, I think in maybe season seven, I did one of the, you know, I did the loot box that was there. And I think I was lucky enough to get, you know, one of the top three. I didn't get the top one. I think I got like the third best one. And that was like, I did that and it was just a complete one off and I got it. And then I, I don't think I ever did that loot box again. Um, but that's where you're going to find the um, these miners are in that loot box. So now we know. The other nice thing is, as well, if we scroll down, it's that we did talk about the miners. And I said that I was disappointed that they had lowered them. Um, because basically compared to uh, last season, when this one was 188, this one essentially, w which was the Classic Fury, was 418. And then we had the one down here, which was 1.1 peta ashes. But the 1.1 peta ash, to get it, you needed 25,000 RST. To get this one, you needed 5,000 RST. And to get this one, you needed 10,000. So what they've done is essentially dropped the um, amount. And this is going back to the same amount uh, of power that they had in Season 7. In Season 7, I can't remember what it was. Was it the, it, was it the tapes? I think it was the disco, wasn't it? It was the, the disco season. Um, I can't remember what it was called. But basically, they had one in there for 360. And I got two of them. And when you merge them to together, again, this is what I did with the Classic Fury, it equated more than what the the sort of big one was. So I think I did that, I did that at least once. I might have even done it twice. Uh, and I basically merged them together. And uh, yeah, and I think that's almost the best, better way to go. Because 10,000 is quite, you know, not easy to get to. But I found 5,000 actually relatively easy to get to, even if you're buying loot boxes, uh, not loot boxes, the part boxes to do the um, to do the daily tasks. Admittedly, I think in season seven, the parts boxes were lower. So obviously that made it a bit easier. But all it means is that it will probably take you a little longer to get to that 5,000. But if you can get two of them, merge them together, obviously, as we saw in the lead up to this video, the amount of parts required now to merge um, miners is massive. And I, I really could not believe that we managed to get 13,158 parts for each you know, each one. So for the fans, for the wires and for the hashing boards, which enabled us to merge that classic fuel. I couldn't believe we managed to do it. And we still ended up with quite a lot of parts after, you know, we gained quite a lot of parts as well after we'd already merged them. So like I say, it is possible, but it's, I mean, I, I really didn't think we would. I was so, I was so chuffed that we managed to do it. But yeah, so anyway, like I say, these now are lower. Um, it's going to be easier for you to get a hold of. I would probably advise go for what I've talked about. Get two of your 5,000, uh, your 360 terahash ones. Get two of those. Merge them together. That come, that equates... I'm trying to think what that came to last time. I can't remember what, what it was. I, was it the tapes? Or I'm trying to think of if, if it might have been season six that I did it. But I can't remember what it was. It might have been, yeah, it might, have, hang on. I think it was, I think it was the Corn Popper, which would have been the uh, season six, which was the carnival one, wasn't it? So let me find where that is. So, because I'm sure I ended up. 
Yeah, so this is my rare one. My rare, hit you're right. So this is my rare one. Oh, I always forget that, don't I, guys? Sorry. It was definitely the corn popper. I remember it. It's definitely the corn popper. Once tourist hamster has taken enough photos, we'll get back in. Okay, so here. So this is this is the rare one. So this was, yeah, so this, right. So the rare one, which required four corn poppers, so basically two lots of two, and we before that we got, that gave us uh two hundred what's that two 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 petahash essentially and then we get one hundred and twenty six thousand uh gigahash uh as bonus so that's like three petahash right there uh pretty much but this is this is the uncommon merged one so So that's only showing 367. Is that, or is that a standard one? That might only be a standard one. I can't see. Is that a standard one? Look, move to items. Sorry, guys. I'll, I'm just trying to see if this is a standard one. Uh, no, it is. It is a, um, it is a uncommon one. So it, that must have been less than 360 then. Now I'm trying to figure out what I did with it. What? Where did it go? <laughs> Where's the space? Ah, here it is. Right. So pull that back. Yeah. So basically merged together. That gave me three six seven five hundred. So that couldn't have been three sixty. So it must have been lower. But so if you get two of those at three sixty, then you're going to be looking at maybe what would that be? So three sixty. If you doubled that, that's uh. Six uh, seven twenty, and you always get a bit extra. So you're probably looking about eight hundred, maybe eight hundred and twenty thousand gigahashes. So close to a petahash, you get maybe yeah maybe yeah you, maybe eight hundred thousand gigahashes. So seven twenty yeah maybe eight hundred thousand. So you're not too far away from a petahash if you can get two of those and merge them together. That is going to be well worth your time. Well worth your time. So, the other obviously thing is that we uh, talked about. Oh, actually, the other thing I wanted to show you actually is again, if we go in here, uh, go to quests here. Yes, so the complete task, obviously the, the complete task, which um, is the seven daily, the daily task seven times every week, uh, the, you'll get this, you'll get this every day if you complete that. So basically collect your free battery from doing your monolix and you're going to get, but from last season to this season, they've dropped it to 12. It was plus 15 in the last season and now they've dropped it to 12 so again that is a little annoying it's a, i know it's only 3 xp but 3 xp over every single you know that's like 21 a week 21 xp every week that you're losing out um so that's annoying uh, and um i think pretty much else most other things are pretty much the same so as you can see here, I've only I haven't really I haven't played any of my games or anything like that. But basically, I'm going to be looking usual stuff. Uh, a flappy rocket kit I can't do. If I could do that, I would be so far ahead in the way of energy on Bitcoin Mania. But I can't do flappy rocket. I can't do the birdie thing on flat on Bitcoin Mania. It's so annoying. Uh, but obviously, token surfer dead easy. You can do that. Um, and you know, all this stuff is playing the games. It it is relatively easy. Obviously, it just takes up time. Uh, the open, for me, the open and RLT case, yes, you're getting 15 XP, but I don't personally think it's worth spending five RLT on that case. If you want to do something with five RLT, what I would advise is save up another two or three RLT, then go and buy, you go into the marketplace, Get a go into racks uh, eight 
and then buy yourself one of these. Look, 8.25. That's going to give you a 5% bonus on any miners you put on that rack. For me, that is way more that is worth more spending your five RLT on that. Yes, okay, you, you're going to need a little bit more than five, but you're better off to save up for those than I think to buy the um, RLT box for your XP. I don't, I just don't think it's worth spending that on that because the thing is, is I mean, I've done it in the past and now and again you get lucky most of the times though you get like one rlt you get two rlt so you, yes you get your 15 xp but you're losing rlt all the time and like i say you're better off to buy one of these five percent racks with that rlt than than doing anything else with it in my opinion that's what i think so that is pretty much a quick first look at the season nine um obviously you know we've got many you're gonna have many events going on throughout this two and a half months personally all i'd say is don't get distracted by those mini events is just do your daily and weekly tasks and because at the end of the day the payoff for you know the miners the rst and all that lot that you're going to get through the season pass uh is probably much better than what you're going to get through those mini events but like i say just as a you know side effect of you doing your usual thing you're going to earn stuff through them mini events anyway okay so i'm going to leave that there i hope you found that helpful informative and enjoyable and if you can smash that like button give us a big thumbs up please it really does support my channel which then helps me make more content to help you so take care have a great rest of your week and i'll speak to you soon thanks a lot bye